Thank you all for coming out. Uh, my name is Mike Pickerel. Uh, I did just get my identity stolen though, so legally I have to perform the rest of the set as Bert. <laughs> I didn't actually get my identity stolen. I actually lost it in a card game. <laughs> Hopefully I can win it back before they pay off my debts. That's, uh, uh, I'm a recovering addict. I'm a recovering addict. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> A couple other people had soda pops tonight, all right. That's, um, that's actually true, there was a time in my life when I was a homeless heroin addict, and now I'm doing comedy in my 30s because I'm still trying to hit bottom. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually made the decision when I was at the worst of my addiction to convert to veganism because I was worried about my health. <laughs> Possibly be the hundreds of dollars in our habitats I was putting in my body each day. It was definitely the cheese that was the problem. <laughs> Whenever people find out that like you're both vegan and a junkie, they have a way bigger problem with the vegan part. <laughs> like tell someone you're a junkie, you can not deserve sympathy. Tell someone you're a vegan, you can misplace anger. Like, I used to have actual conversations with people where I'm just like, yeah, you know, I used to shoot up and live behind a dumpster, and they're just like, oh man, I can't believe you didn't eat bacon. <laughs> My personal favorite was always, oh, you're vegan, so you think you're better than me. I just stole money from you, so. Even when I overdosed, the paramedics were more concerned with how much protein I was getting, you know what I mean? Like, I get those kids dying over here, but can we at least get them a ham sandwich? That's, uh, Everyone hates the guitar guy at the party. <laughs> so I learned the trombone. <laughs> if you thought that people hate the guitar guy at the party, <laughs> just wait until you see them react to the New Orleans jazz version of Wonderwall. It's, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I got a haircut, I just got a haircut, thank you for noticing. Uh, a strange thing happened though, as I was leaving the bar, uh, the bar I asked the bar for a to-go bag, and she looked at me like I'm crazy. You know, those are my favorite strands of hair just right there on the floor. You know, growing up my dad used to tell me that God knows the exact amount of hairs on my head, but when I was hanging out with God at that carnival, he couldn't guess how many jelly beans were in that jar, so... What does he know? Yeah, I broke up with my ex-girlfriend. Yeah, she just going to be reminded, I guess. It was, uh, it was kind of a shame, too. You know, she was really my type, you know, brunette, blue eyes, uh, emotionally abusive. The three things I'm looking for in a relationship. You know, but, but we couldn't really make it work. We kind of had a codependent relationship. You know, she was an active alcoholic. I'm a recovering junkie. So we kind of had that Sid and Nancy thing going. Yeah, Sid Caesar and Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Two people that don't make sense put together. Uh, so I'm kind of like dating myself right now, which for me just means I put on nail polish when I jerk off. That's, uh, <laughs> that's I think I think it's interesting that we need like special shoes for the big events in our life. You know, like uh, going bowling or being a horse. Uh, my friend just gave her highway up for adoption. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she left it on the steps of a firehouse, and traffic there has been terrible ever since. So, uh, I was a test tube teenager. Just a thought. <laughs> I, um, I like going up to people that are wearing camouflage in public and saying to them, Hey, you look like the outside. <laughs> You know, just to break the ice. Because if there's anything I know, it's that people that wear camo in public can really take a joke. So. <laughs> I don't have OCD. I have CDO. Which is the same thing. I just like the letters in alphabetical order. <laughs> I uh, lost my 
bisexual fantasy league? <laughs> Uh, I did just, um, I got a physical the other day, and it turns out that I am both obese and have a vitamin deficiency. Now, I don't really know how that happens, because I eat like one of those whales that filters plankton through its teeth. You know, just assuming that if I eat half my own body weight each day, eventually some nutrients are going to work their way in, you know? What, you know, women say they want a dad bod, and that's good, but I have a divorced dad bod. <laughs> No, a dad bod just says like, oh, I've got it together enough to take care of the kids, give them three square meals a day. A divorced dad bod is just, I've given up. A divorced dad bod says, oh, I'm only seeing them every other weekend, so until then, it's pizza, ice cream, and cigarettes. A divorced dad bod uses a push lawnmower, not for the exercise, but because he got a DUI in his riding lawnmower, carving she's gone into his neighbor's lawn. <laughs> I just invented a new sex move. Yeah, it's called reverse missionary. It's where the man just lies there and the woman goes to other countries spreading the word of God. Right? So, 